self-love has been a tricky one for me to put into practice, number one. And number two, it has been a difficult one for me to actually feel within the bones of my relationship with myself. But when I think about the person that I care about most in my life or the people that I care about most in my life, what I think about is I want them to be healthy. What I think about is that I want them to feel seen, to feel heard, to feel felt within all of their relationships. What I want is for them to feel like they can be authentic, like they can share their boundaries when they need to, where they can ask for what they want, do what they want. And at the end of the day, ultimately be able to know what their needs are and be able to meet their needs for themselves or to have people around help them meet their needs. And so when I think about my relationship with myself, I say, okay, but do I do those things for me? Do I invest in my own health, in my vitality? Do I feed myself the nutritious foods, the delicious foods? Do I prioritize my sleep? Do I eat things? Do I watch things? Do I do things that are ultimately empowering instead of disempowering me? Do I give space to my own emotions? Do I give space to my own feelings to be felt in a non-judgmental, loving, open space to be worked with, learned from, and utilized in a healthy way? Do I share myself authentically with the people around me and with myself, sharing the boundaries that I have? sharing the wants that I have, the needs that I have with the people that are closest to me and ultimately with myself. Am I asking myself what I want and delivering myself what I want? Or am I operating on what society has told me that I want and giving myself what society thinks that I need? Am I ultimately having the conversations with myself about what I want and what I need and being able to deliver on those things instead of people-pleasing, culturally pleasing, and disconnecting with myself as a result? And so self-love can be quite a difficult thing for us to put into practice or for us to just be able to really feel within our own relationship with ourselves. But if we put it in the context of, well, what do we want for the people closest to us? And then we ask, well, how can I apply that to my relationship with myself? We might get a picture that feels a whole lot clearer and a whole lot easier to digest. And so that's all that I have for you today. But ultimately ask What do you want for the people that are closest to you? Allowing that answer, that question to boil in. And after it does, asking yourself, am I giving myself these things? Am I providing myself with what I want for the people closest to me? You might get some answers that either feel really fluffy and fulfilling Or you might get some answers that point you in the direction of what could feel fluffy and fulfilling. If you have any questions, you know you could always find me in the comments below or on my Instagram, or we could set up a call through my website. Otherwise, I wish you a self-loving day today. I'll see you very soon. Much love.